What is up, YouTube? This is Lax from 360 Trickspot, bringing you yet again another tutorial. Uh, this time I'll be showing you how to transfer your files from your iPhone, your iPad, or your iPod Touch. Um, whichever one you want, or all of them. I don't care. But uh, first thing you want to do is download this software called Disk Aid. So go to the link in the description and click on that link that says download Disk Aid here or something. Um, also provide a text tutorial in the description if you want it. But uh, So click on that link, then it should bring you here. Click on download. And you know, click if your PC or Mac, download, install it, same old stuff. But um, after it's installed, open the program up and it should look like this. Okay, so this is Disk Aid. Um, it's just going to basically show you all your files on your iPod Touch, your iPad, or your iPhone. Uh, so, plug in, it says for you to plug in your iPhone, your iPod Touch, or your iPad, so you can plug it in right now. I'm going to plug in my iPod Touch. So I'm, I'm pretty sure iTunes will pop up, so if that pops up, just close out of it. Okay, so um, when you first open up Disk Aid, it should look like this. Alright, this is like start here and crap, whatever. Um, but go over to the left and click on Media. Now this box should pop up, just click OK. Um, so you see all these folders under the Media folder? There's tons of them. So the one you want is iTunes Control, so click on that. And you can see like all these folders are in iTunes Control. So, what you want to do is you want to click on iTunes Control, just the whole folder like this on the left side, and click on Copy to PC, and choose your destination like your desktop or something, and click OK. Or you can just like click on the folder, click and drag it, and put it on your desktop like this, which is usually what I do. And now you see the folders on your desktop and it's going to copy to your PC and will probably take a long time if you have a lot of files on your uh, iPod or iPad or iPhone. Um, it depends on how much music or how much videos you have. But yeah, that will transfer all of your music, your videos, your artwork, um, your iTunes library file. It will transfer everything. So it's really good. Alright, so once this is done transferring, I'm going to come back and show you how to put it onto iTunes. Okay, so finally back to the tutorial. Uh, it only took like three hours, but whatever, it's worth it. Um, so once it's done transferring all of your files from your device to your computer, you can just exit out of the program, so just click with the red X, whatever, and um, then go to the place where you save the iTunes control folder. So I saved it to my desktop, so here it is, right here. Um, you can just open it up and check that you have everything there, all the folders you need. So I have everything, but I'm just going to show you what the music folder pretty much is. So you click on that and you see a bunch of other folders. And all of these folders contain your music from your device. And even your videos, they contain your videos too. So you can like just double click on one of the folders and check and you see like it has all of your songs and this is a video yep yeah, this is a movie right here and um, like every single folder has different songs and movies so what you want to do now is now that you have you know that you have all the files that you want uh, open up iTunes Okay, so now once iTunes is open, go to File, and go to Add Folder to Library. All right, now go to Desktop or wherever you saved your folder, and click on the folder that says iTunes Control. So you want to click on that and then click Select Folder. And I'm not going to press that because I've already done it, but press Select Folder and it should start adding all of the. Uh, stuff that was that's on your device to your iTunes library and 
uh, when it's done, you'll have all your songs and all your videos from your device on your iTunes library. And also, um, just to tell you guys in advance that some of these um, songs or videos are going to have weird names like, let me show you real quick. Um, okay, like on these songs, they have four letters. Um, most of the time, they will come out with the correct artist name and artist song, but every once in a while they'll come out with just these four letters and you're gonna have to fix them. Like, that's the only bad part about this, but it's definitely worth it because you still have the song, but the song title and stuff will be wrong, but that's only on some of them. So that's just to give you guys a heads up, but um, that's it. So I hope this helped you out and thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.